Okay, how do you create quotations or estimates inside Zoho's invoice? Okay, so that's very, very easy to do. There are modules across the top of the screen here, and the quotation is also in Zoho invoices known as estimates. So cl click the estimates tab, and you show the list of estimates. And then once you can do that, you click new estimate here. You can also import estimates or quotations if you want from CSV or Excel. We're going to create one by one so this is the new estimate screen and there are a number of assumptions before creating an estimate and the first one being is that you've either imported or synchronized your contacts, your companies and contacts in the companies from Zoho CRM or from an Excel or CSV file. So if you've done that already you can then key in the number or the name sorry of the account and then you can just select from here if you need to add one on the fly you can do so here uh, but if you have used the synchronized function with Zoho CRM you should not maintain two databases so always update your data inside Zoho CRM and it will get synced across to Zoho invoice so the email to function you've got some help uh, screen tips here. The, this is the primary contact for the account so you would also need to set the primary contacts and you do that in the customers module here. There will also be listed other contacts here if you have more than one person in the account and you can check whoever you want to CC the quotation on. Okay the estimate number is a, a sequential number with a prefix that you can define. Uh, this is just the standard one so you can change the setting of that and it will change the uh, prefix and so on. Reference number is your own internal quotation reference that can be whatever you like and the estimate date will default to the current date but you can change it here uh, when you expect them to um, uh, the validity date of the quotation. Okay and the exchange rate is based on the value that you put into the system. Up here on next to the customer name you'll see GBP. That is the currency of this specific customer. It may not be the same as your base currency. Zoho Invoice allowed you, allowed you to create quotes and invoices in multiple currencies. So it will change the value, it will convert the value based on the exchange rate that you enter. So when I want to put in the products or services, this also assumes that you've imported these items into the system. So I can key in my item description. This would be there if you've already imported it. It will appear here. Or you can edit or add on the fly. And then you can just uh, change the actual rate if you want to give some kind of a, a discounted price or you can just key in discount percent here. And the tax would also be associated with the product, but you can also import without a tax association, or you can change it on the fly here. And then you see the amount is calculated. You just repeat that for as many products as you want. Okay, and the amounts are totaled at the bottom. If I don't want this line I can remove it or I can add another line to add, add another product. Customer notes, this is like a thank you note. This can be changed, it's just a text field, change it to however you like and the terms and conditions uh, can be changed to whatever you like here as well. It's a text field and it's generic throughout the entire uh, organization and all of the quotations that uh, will be created. You can set it to a default. So if I change it and I like the new version uh, then I can set that as the default and it will be the default from that point on but salespeople can still change as they go uh, but they wouldn't bother doing this set to default because they would just change it for that one quotation so I would check everything's correct and when it is I click save and then I'm taken to the estimate screen so this is the information that I've just entered. I can see terms and conditions here. I can also add comments, just internal comments uh, related to that specific estimate. 
and they're just stored underneath there for the record. Now, when I've done this, the, the status of the quotation is draft, because I haven't done anything with it. Therefore, I'm presented with a few options here on the right. I can take a look at it to see what it looks like by es exporting to PDF. And this is just a standard design straight out of the box, but you can tailor these to your corporate uh, design, corporate look and feel. So I would basically check that it's all okay, looks okay. I can do whatever I like with this now. I can save it, I can email it, I can put it inside Zoho CRM. Okay, it's a PDF file. So if I'm happy with it, normally the next option would be to send it to the customer. And I've got either snail mail here, that is Zoho's snail mail credits. I buy credits and they will send a hard copy of this through regular post or email the estimate here. So if I click email estimate, I'm taken directly to the quotation sending email template. There's just one template for this in Zoho invoice. It is not meant to be like Zoho CRM where you may have several templates for one process. It's very simple and the idea is that it's simple it means fast. It's very easy to do, very easy to send the quotation. Customers primary contact name was checked already so that would be set as a primary contact and if there are any others here I can check them I can also add new contact people here on the fly but beware if you are using the CRM sync you should only add new contacts in the CRM first and let them sync across I can add a CC subject is part of the email template as is all of this text this is just an example you can swap the customers name here uh, inside the email template. That's another video. It will give a summary of the quotation and you see in the bottom left it's attached the quotation automatically as a PDF using the sequential number uh, that you, Zoho Invoice generates. So you don't have to save and attach. It's very very quick. But you can also attach additional contracts or whatever you want to using the attach file function here. And when everything's ready I click send. And now when the, invo the quotation has been sent, the status is automatically uh, changed to sent with the green color here. And basically then you would go through your quotation approval process. Uh, at this stage I am left with options. For example, if the customer wants to change something, I can simply edit. Okay, so I can change the items, I can change the discounts or whatever. I can also change the template itself, the look of, and feel of the uh, quotation. This is useful if you have several different templates within your organization. This is where you ch do the change here for the template. And anything else that I need to change, I can do here. So maybe they want to change the uh, payment terms. And then when I've done that, I just click Save. And it's still, status is sent, but I've just edited it, so I may want to send it again. And I'll just go through the same process, so email estimate, and it would send the revised one to the customer. And the, finally, I can clone it here. So if I want to create a, a trail of different quotations that I'm doing, or, or the same kind of quotation, but for a different customer, I can clone and then change the relevant fields. And then the last thing that I would do, uh, presuming the quotation gets approved by the uh, prospect or the customer, is to convert to an invoice. And when I do this, the quotation information is brought across to the new invoice screen. And everything else is the same. It's brought across from the quotation. The payment terms here may be different because that they relate to an invoice. And we will go through all of this in the next video. So that's how I create an estimate or a quotation inside Zoho Invoice.